PWA stands for Progressive Web Application. What does that mean? It means that a web app that looks and behaves like a native app. How do you feel about a website that can work offline? Or a website that is installable, and even better, that will show up in a mobile phone's home screen just like any other native app. These are all characteristic of a PWA. In general, 80% of the users are using their mobile devices to browse the internet. It became crucial for web developers to provide a seamless and native app-like experience to the user. Over the years, the boundary between a web application and a native app has become more and more vague. If you go and browse the web version of those big applications like Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter, I can almost certainly say that they behave and feel just like their native app counterpart that you have installed from the Apple App Store or Google Play. And now you might be thinking, okay, I get it. But what does it take for me to transform my website into a PWA? Well, to answer this question, we first need to define exactly the characteristic of a native app. One, it should work offline. And two, it should be installable to our devices. These two characteristics are the bare minimum for a web application to behave like a native app. Now to address the first point, we need to think about a method to store our static assets and files right in a browser. So all the images, JavaScript, CSS, and HTML files should be stored locally inside the browser. In a native app, the asset files will have been stored inside the user's file system. And since we don't have direct access to the user's file system inside a browser, we need to look at some built-in storage solution provided by the browser out of the box. That is the cache storage and also index.db. We will talk about these two technologies in details in the next video. Now to install a native app, we will typically install the app from App Store or Google Play. To make a web app installable, we need to incorporate something called the service worker and manifest JSON into our website. A service worker is a middleman that sits between our app and the server, and a manifest JSON is like a manual that instructs the browser on how to install our web app. Again, we'll talk about these two concepts in details and the actual implementation later in this series. Now here comes the next big question. Should I transform my existing website into a PWA? Well, although I'm a big fan of PWA, I'm not gonna force you to say yes. Do it! Just do it! Instead, I'll talk about the benefits that you might get if you're using a PWA. First of all, since we're not using a third-party publisher like Apple Store or Google Play, we don't need to worry about their hefty commission fee. Apple charges a freaking 30% of your total revenue or 15% if you are a small business as of the time of recording this video. Google Play charges a lesser fee, which is 15% for most developers. So if you have a PWA, your user can just install your app directly from your website. Secondly, we just need to write one code base for our app. If you want to publish your app to Google or Apple, you have to rewrite your whole app in Java or Swift, or consider some translation tool to convert JavaScript into other languages. Traditionally, this is very expensive and very hard to maintain. With PWA, we just need to work with JavaScript since everything is run within the browser. Our app is also cross-platform. That means it can run on anywhere as long as we have a browser. And finally, PWA is secure by default. A native app can access a lot of things in your device. And if it has a piece of malicious code inside the app, it could easily compromise the whole system. So for a native app, it's only as secure as on how much you trust the app developer. Meanwhile, for PWA, the browser does not have access on most things on your device. If a web app attempts to access, for example, your camera or location data, it will always ask for your permission. This makes web app a lot safer because it reduces the risk 
of having a backdoor installed in your system. All right, this is a good place to stop. We'll dive deeper into the world of PWA in the next video. I'll see you there. Key takeaways for this lesson. PWA or Progressive Web App is a website that provides a similar user experience to a native app. PWA is capable to work offline through cache storage and also IndexedDB. And it is also installable with the help of Service Worker and Manifest JSON. PWA is cross-platform, cheaper, and more maintainable and secure compared to its native counterpart. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video.